is Laurie Ponte, who graciously let me talk her into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, not hard to, uh, somebody says, oh, you want to talk about yourself? Well, hey. <laughs> so I moved to Summerlin last October, and um, from Central Oregon, I've lived in there for 34 years, met my husband there, and I, uh, through my whole life, I was uh, kind of a crafty person. I didn't have any formal art training, but I, in the 90s, I took a class at the community college on watercolor, and since then, when I was um, working, I once or twice a year I'd sign up for a with the uh, local community education department uh, a little wa watercolor workshop or class. And then um, four years ago, I retired, and so I started to feel more like I had more time to uh, do watercolor and. Um, so I started painting not just when I went to a class, but also when I felt inspired. And um, at the same time when, when I retired, um, my husband and I started taking these two-month trips in our van every spring and fall. And we'd always end up for a couple weeks at uh, Red Rock Canyon to, uh, to rock climb. And so um, we decided to... Um, buy a home in Summerlin, and uh, I, I walked a couple blocks from my house, is West Sahara Library, and I went in there, lo and behold, there's a display of, uh, or a, a gallery full of all of your paintings. And uh, so I signed up and met uh, uh, several of you at the wetlands reception, and then uh, a few more at the uh, Christmas party. And um, let me just, uh, uh, I, love, I love painting. I, I don't know if any of you have this same obsession, but it seems like since I started painting, I see things differently. I love, you know, looking at a tree and thinking about all the different shades of green, you know, in a, in a tree or, or uh, you know, how, how I might try to compose a particular uh, scene and uh, just makes life a lot more interesting. I love portraits, but I left all of them in uh, Bend, Oregon, and um, I am uh, I love animals, too. I've got some back here. Let me walk over to my, to my paintings here. I've got um, this. Uh, I'm, I'm told that I'm good at getting the essence of uh, uh, the, well, there's several. Um, I, I told that I'm I'm good at catching the essence, but honestly, a lot of these are traced, or uh, I've learned to say transferred, not traced, onto onto the watercolor paper. And um, um, I also love. Uh, let's see, what else do I have here? Um, uh, this. This one I did uh, with a credit card, not a brush, and uh, just laid the paint down here and here, and then started uh, smearing, and, and didn't really know what I had was creating until it was already uh, created. It kind of looks kind of looks like a mountain scene to me. Um, and then I I also do. Um, Rice paper? Is there a rice? Oh, yeah, one more. There is a, um, a rice paper batik, which is putting resist on the lighter areas and then painting everything else and then putting resist on again and painting light. Thank you so much, Pam. And, um, but that's another thing that I've, I've dabbled in. Um, I... Uh, I love painting with family and friends. Um, uh, any, anyone who's really interested in, in painting with me. And uh, it was so nice of uh, uh, Pam and Becca to invite me to the uh, impromptu sketchers of Las Vegas and already went and, and painted with them one afternoon um, in uh, this month. 
I'm making uh, holiday cards. I try to do six a month and, and uh, uh, for next, uh, for this year, I guess. <laughs> um, and uh, um, anyway, that's all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, here, here, I, I've got some, some rocks up here, which maybe I'll put in that show, I don't know, or this one, my, a landscape, this is, I made into the wallpaper on my show, I've never entered a show, I was in the Watercolor Society of Oregon critique group, which met once a month, and it was a great opportunity, they, they, uh, uh, critiqued each other's paintings that were going into the show oftentimes. And um, um, I did have the opportunity to display a lot of my art in uh, with a local art society in uh, Central Oregon. They had several venues for uh, showing art in different galleries. So, that's all. Thank you so Thank much, you. Laurie. Thank you. called the artist spotlight and what that is that is for new members and sometimes older members that have been here forever like me to tell you about themselves and their artwork so that we can get to know each other